Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic considering its huge impact and essential role in solving current problems and making the right decisions, which is the global optimization. This field lies at the heart of many modern technology, in particular it is the basis of all the theory behind AI and machine learning. So let's dive and discover together this fascinating work. Let's see first of all, what is optimization? Let's imagine an explorer went on a mission to find a hidden treasure. The only information he had is that the treasure is buried at the lowest point of the mountain. Once he got there, he found out that it is a foggy day and he couldn't see very far ahead. He kept thinking for a while and then finally he found a solution. How he could do that? That's the power of optimization. Whatever it was, finding the best way to prepare your favorite dish, finding the fastest and shortest path to your work, or reducing the electricity and water consumption in your house to minimize the utility expenses, it's all related to optimization. So to answer our question, optimization can be defined simply as the science of finding the best possible solution to a certain problem. We saw the definition of optimization, now let's see it in action. We get back to our explorer, we saw that he could reach the bottom region and here is how he did it. Since the day is foggy, the only information to which he could access is about the local environment. For that, to ensure a guided movement, he started following his way downhill, step by step always heading toward where the slope seems to go lower until it starts to be ascending again. This is what we call gradient based algorithm. Their philosophy consists in making consecutive small steps in the direction where the slope is lower. Following this idea, the explorers seem to find the trees, right? Actually, if we zoom out, we find out that this point is only a local minimum. And the lowest point of the mountain are also called the global minimum, where the trees is situated is still much far away. And that's what we call a convexity problem, which means that our cost function presents more than one minimum. And in the general case, the functions are not necessarily convex. They increase and decrease many times within the definition space, presenting a lot of minima. For that, an ideal optimization algorithm is the one who is able to escape all local minima, and not only that, but also guarantee a convergence directly to the global minimum of the function. After understanding the gradient-based optimization and the challenge that it presents in converging to global minimum, especially when dealing with non-convex functions, we get to our core topic which is the global optimization. Before moving to the global optimization, let's understand the main factors that limit the gradient-based optimization or also known as local optimization. Let's imagine we have two person. Those two person are looking for a treaser. This time not in a mountain, but in a maze. They have two possible paths, one block it, and one leads to the target. Let's assume in first case that the two person decided to stay always together while exploring. And also, we assume that they are not smart enough to change the path once it's chosen without an external indication. They can choose the right path, of course, or they choose the blocked path like in that case, and once they find that it is blocked path, they will keep trying to penetrate it in vain. Actually, that's how gradient-based algorithms work. They track the slope direction of the function at each step based on the calculation of the local gradient that can be approximated and interpreted as the local growth rate of the function between two close points, and this is a very important detail. 
This approach is very time efficient since it provides a well-guided and deterministic way to minimize the function. For that reason, the gradient-based algorithms are the most used ones in training machine learning models. But on the other hand, they suffer from a problem which is stacking in local minima. Like shown in our previous example, the two person couldn't escape the blocked path through using this local approach. So what is the solution? Let's imagine a second situation. In this situation we have same two person keeping their same degree of smartness as before. But this time they decided that each one will choose a path while keeping a communication channel between them. The first one will choose the blocked path as before, but the second one will choose the other path and he will find the treasure. Through the communication channel, he calls his friend, providing him with the necessary external indication that we talked about to escape the blocked region and join him. And using this approach, we ensure that both of them find the treasure. And that's what we call the collaborative optimization. From here we inspire the concept of the global gradient that is not limited to the local change of the function between two close points, but instead it tracks the variability at a global scale, releasing the local dependency between the two calculation points, collecting global information about the loss landscape topology. From here comes the idea of the super gradient descent algorithm. It starts by two initially independent sequences at the boundaries of the space, calculates the global gradient and the distance between the two sequences, and we use the global gradient and the distance to calculate the final criteria. At each step, we update the sequence that corresponds to the highest value of the function, and we minimize it until the criterion becomes under a specified threshold. This is the super gradient descent in action. We can see that thanks to the use of the global gradient, the algorithm collects enough information about the loss landscape, making it capable to escape all local minima, as we see here, and we ensure a guided convergence toward the global minimum of our loss function. Finally, we conclude with a series of experiments comparing the super gradient descent to popular optimization algorithms like Adam, Adagrad and others. The results highlight the SUGDs or super gradient descent remarkable ability to overcome local minima where other methods often get stuck as we talked before. In scenarios with high complexity and hard differentiability where some algorithms struggle even to converge, SUGD consistently warranties stable conversions to the global minimum. Even in functions that has mixed characteristics featuring both smooth and non-smooth regions, like in this example, the super gradient descent demonstrates its robustness. It successfully escapes the first local minimum, navigates through the non-smooth intermediary region and stabilizes at the global minimum of the function. To sum up, in this video we explored the fascinating world of optimization, delving into the fundamental concepts and the main challenges that it presents, particularly the difficulty of navigating complex and non-convex functions. Building on this foundation, we introduced the super gradient descent algorithm, highlighting its innovative approach, and we showed how it leverages the concept of the global gradient to guarantee a global convergence. Finally, we concluded with some practical experiments, comparing the super gradient descent with other optimization algorithms, demonstrating its ability to overcome local minima and guarantee stable conversions to the global minimum of the function, even in very challenging scenarios. We get to the end of our video, so thank you for watching, 
I hope this has been an insightful journey about global optimization for you. If you have any questions or suggestions about future topics, the comment part is yours and sky is the limit, so don't hesitate. Thanks and see you soon.